Hello, happy Monday, it's Coach Jess. And today I wanna to talk about the importance of um, feeling socially connected to other people. So research shows that feeling socially connected is essential to a healthy mind and body. Feeling part of a community can help you feel less anxious, less depressed, and definitely less lonely. And our physical bodies respond differently when we are part of a community. People with strong social connections tend to be the healthiest people. For example, they report lower blood pressure and fewer illnesses. It's pretty amazing. So one of my favorite things about social media is how much easier it is to connect with like-minded people. However you feel about it, it can be a great tool to find and build a community with others who share your interests and goals. Uh, one way to feel more connected is to be willing to share about yourself. So when you find those groups, like we've got a few, um, like the Glute Gangsta Glute you know, Gang, and even with um, the physical or shred to fit members, we have that private group. And then the factory and suspension has the GTS members group. And in those private um, groups, you can be a little more vulnerable and share because you're with like-minded people. The only people in those groups are people that you work out with and train. It's not like totally open out there to the public. Um, so one way to feel more connected is to be willing to share about yourself. So let's get to know each other a little better. So grab a pen or a paper or even if you have an app and notes and write some of this stuff down. All right, so just answer these three questions. And if you want, if you feel like it, you can answer it in the comments below. Oh, I almost lost you. Um, or you can shoot me an email or just write them down and keep them to yourself and share them with somebody. So um, the first question, number one. What is something you've accomplished in the past year that you are proud of? I'm sure there's gotta be something. <laughs> uh, two, what is one characteristic trait you really like about yourself? And finally, how can those two things help you to achieve your fitness goals, your health goals, your lifestyle goals, whatever goals that you have in place for yourself? So um, I'll tell you mine. So I'm really proud of the fact that I was able to help um, build Shred to Fit and watch it grow. It's windy. Um, and watch it evolve. Like we really, um, like, we, you know, like Tracy and, and Howard will always say, you know, we were able to jump right into helping the community with Shred to Fit because we already had it up and running. Um, and in that year, we've added more elements to it and more is to come. Um, the second, or uh, the question number two, the trait that I like about myself, um, or that, that I, um, see myself as gratitude. Um, it doesn't matter if things are going great, if things are not going great, um, I'm always grateful. And you never know, even in those down times, why, why, why these things happen. And really try not to question those things, but move, you know, with the current, <laughs> move, move with it and evolve into it um, with a grateful heart because I always believe, I truly believe that everything happens for good, even in the worst circumstances, you just never know. So approaching life with gratitude. Um, so those two together, um, growing Shred to Fit with gratitude allows me to focus and evolve with this business and to help it grow with our partners, with Tracy and Howard and, and everybody, um, Esther and Leilani and all the coaches that um, put their input and help uh, behind the scenes with Shred to Fit. So I am excited for the future. You guys have a lot, um, we have a lot of things in the works that we're organizing and ready to put out there. Um, a lot of you have asked for meal plans. I am putting a ton. And the menopause meal plan, um, I just finished my first week of putting it together, but I wanna get a four, I wanna get a 30 day program together. So week one is done. Um, I actually did week one for a lot of different types. So look out for those. We're gonna have meal plans that you can buy from us and then they're yours to keep for the rest of your life. It'll have a meal plan, a 30 day meal plan with your recipe book. Um, we'll throw a bunch of little tips and tricks and stuff in there for you as well. All right, so I'm super excited. All right, so now that I've shared some of myself with you, it's your turn to share something um, yourself with me. And I'd love to hear your answers. Um, and even if you're not up to sharing it, um, you probably learned a little bit about yourself just by taking the time to answer those questions. Um, and remember, we help people just like you every single day to X, to Y, and Z. Um, so be sure to check out uh, the Booty Lab Fitness programs. We've got just a few spots left. Um, I think we only have like one spot left for 6 a.m. And we have a few spots left for the 5.30 p.m. class. And then online, we have 4-Minute Booty Pump, which is um, our Booty Lab Fitness program from home. You do need a barbell. 
Um, we did have one challenger who um, didn't use the barbells. She used kettlebells and other things and increased her weight. Um, but all of our videos will be filmed using the barbell. But if you have different equipment, just shoot me an email or send me a message and we can go over what you have and how you can adapt to it. And then the Factory and Suspension House Fitness have a 20 pound challenge coming up on Monday, uh, this Monday. So um, lots of stuff to look forward to and let's, uh, let's keep going. So I've got some references. If you look at the link, I have the links for the challenge. And um, that's all I have for you this Monday. I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy Memorial Day um, this weekend. Thank you for all that have served, who've given everything. And um, we will remember you. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Bye.